Anyone who starts working at the underlying causal condition is probably going to do better than someone who's just treating symptoms or managing the disease. That's a given. But what is not so intuitive at all is that people with the exact same problems, same list of complaints, and you say, oh, I've helped that before. We're going to do this or this. As soon as you do that, you're ignoring biochemical individuality. And that is the, the rub in this is that Hey, what worked for Mrs. Smith is not going to work for Mrs. Jones. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It's a little red button. You punch that and it's going to notify you every time we put out a new episode that can help you improve your bone health. And then also, if you haven't done so already, head over to bonecoach.com, sign up for the free seven day osteoporosis kickstart. That's going to walk you through everything you need to be doing right now to get on the path to improvement and stronger bones. After you do those two things, go ahead and press play on this episode and I'll see you inside. Welcome, welcome to this episode of The Bone Coach Show. Joining us today to explore functional diagnostic nutrition and how that can impact your health is Reed Davis. Reed is a board certified holistic health practitioner and a certified nutritional therapist who is an expert in functional lab testing and holistic lifestyle medicine. He's the founder of Functional Diagnostic Nutrition, and the FDN certification course with over 4,000 graduates in 50 countries. Reed served as the health director at a wellness center in Southern California for over 10 years and with over 10,000 clients and is known as one of the most experienced clinicians in his field. Reed serves on the advisory board of the American Natural Wellness Coaches Board and the American Association of Natural Wellness Coaches. He lives in the U.S. and when not teaching the FDN certification course and helping his graduates build their private practices, he's usually found gardening or riding motorcycles. Reed, it is an absolute pleasure to have you here today. Thanks for joining us. Well, it's my pleasure to be here with you, Kevin. Excited. I'm looking forward to this conversation. So um, I always like to start, and you and I have discussed your background and how you even got to where you're at today. And I would love for our audience to really get a good understanding of uh, what your journey has looked like and how you how you're where you're at today. Well, thanks. I'll be happy to jump right in. You know, I'm a I'm an industrious person, and I love studying things. Kind of a learn freak, as they call it today. Um, and so I'm no stranger to hard work. And I was hard at work actually saving the planet. That was my last mission, save the planet. It was in environmental law and, uh, uh, you know, air, birds, water, trees, bees. I just wanted to be helpful and do something good with my life, you know. And then when I, I started seeing all this bad things to, about the environment and the earth and the animals. And, th and I said, well, what about people? So after many years in that business, I changed careers. You know, what about people? What's it doing to people? I didn't know much other than my own health and that was really good, but I went to work in a clinic in Southern California and it was a wellness center where people were coming with chronic long-term, you know, downward spiraling conditions. And they were, they were getting out of the, the box. They didn't want conventional medicine anymore because that had not helped them. Standard medicine was, had failed for these people. And so they're seeking alternatives. And uh, we had chiropractic and acupuncture and massage and nutrition. Matter of fact, I became the head nutritionist. And, but I'll tell you something I noticed right away. And it was that everyone walking in the door almost had already been to six or eight or 10 different practitioners. And it was just uh, frustrating for them as hell. They're, they're desperate. And uh, it got really kind of frustrating for me too. Matter of fact, I was out riding my bike one day in the hills and deserts uh, where I live, and uh, I just got really angry. I just got really upset that here I am, really good health, enjoying all these freedoms that we have, and the people back at the office were miserable. And I, I went back to the office that Monday, and I said, you know, I'm going to be the last person you need to see. Well, that was naive. I didn't know a thing. But I said, I'm going to figure this out. You know, I knew, remember, I was very industrious, good studier and things like that. I can hack this. That's the word that didn't, wasn't around back then. But, but uh, so I went to work. Uh, I was in nutrition school at the time, but I started running lab work. I just was very fortunate. And, and the doctors there let me run pretty much anything I wanted. So then, I, and then I started studying with the lab guys, the lab geeks in the backyard, in the back room, you know, the lab rats, I called them. Um, what's really going on? And so just, 
you know, 10 years past thousands and thousands of labs that I ran on people. I, just, I recognize patterns. I put it together into a system that just about anyone could follow. And our clinic became really well known. I became well known as the, the lab uh, and uh, nutrition guy. And even the labs were saying to me, who the hell are you? You know, like no one runs this many labs. Like how many doctors you got working there? I said, well, well, I'm the guy that's running the labs. You know, what do you mean? He said, you run more labs than famous doctor's name. And he has five doctors working for him. So whatever you're doing, you should be teaching others. So again, after, after 10 years of having a lot of success, a lot of failures, just, just all the learning things that you go through. But I created this system and uh, I decided to put a class together in 2008. And uh, hence, you know, FDN or functional diagnostic nutrition was born that way. So I can tell you all these stories in between up to the end of 10 years, just, just changing people's lives completely because we ran the right lab tests and got to the underlying causes and conditions. And I just made so many discoveries um, that, yeah, I was happy to start teaching. You know, um, I didn't know that's all I would end up doing. You know, I always thought I'd have a clinic, but I, I don't anymore. I don't see clients anymore. I teach. And as you said, we have uh, over 4,000 graduates in 50 countries. So there's a lot of FDN being practiced out there. So as you were doing all these lab tests and all these people were coming in and they'd already seen many practitioners in a lot of cases, and here you are wanting to get to the root cause of the issue. And as you started doing these lab tests and uncovering these root causes, but was there, did you find things that were very similar with a lot of these different people? Well, what a great question. That's really insightful because anyone who starts working at the underlying causal condition um, is probably going to do better than someone who's just treating symptoms or managing the disease. That's a given. Mm -hmm. But what's not so intuitive at all is that people with the exact same problems, same list of complaints, and you say, oh, I've helped that before. We're going to do this or this. As soon as you do that, you're ignoring biochemical individuality. And that is the, the rub in this, is that, hey, what worked for Mrs. Smith is not going to work for Mrs. Jones. And, and it's really interesting how that um, just became apparent. Um, so what I have determined is, I don't use the word root cause anymore. It's a great word. It's a great thing to be in pursuit of. But almost everybody has multiple causal factors. And they're crashing into each other and having an effect upon one another. Not much of that's even singly measurable. And so you really have to have a whole system for a whole person. And it's perfect for, it was perfect for me and all, most of the people I train because we're not physicians. See, so they're trained to identify one problem, one part, you know, there's one fix and that's their little world, their specialty, whatever it is. We can't diagnose or treat anything specifically. So what I, and keeping that always in mind, you know, I remember I had a legal background and I had good doctors around me that were mentors and read, you know, this is where the line is and you can't diagnose or treat anything without a license. We can talk about why you need a license. Uh, but the truth is I wanted to just treat the whole person. And I found it worked better than, than the, you know, the, the, the diagnosis treatment model. So the, the saying would be, we don't treat anything specifically we treat everything non-specifically, and so that's where the other the other half of this whole learning process and it, it's ongoing um, is well, what do you do? Because people are coming in for their chiropractic or acupuncture, and they'd make their appointments. I did myofascial therapy and turn them over to the chiropractor for their adjustment, and and um, and it was what are you doing between visits that mattered. Not coming in, hey, you're great, you're coming in, but you're really not, you know, getting where you want to get. What, what are you doing at home for diet? What, what, what's your sleep like? How about exercise? What about all the stressors that you're dealing with? And are you taking your supplements? I think they're important. And so that became a pattern. So the investigation became a pattern into the root causes, your, your question. And then um, everyone's different. And you got to look at how those causal factors are crashing into each other. You have to have a philosophy about that. And then what do you, you send people off? Maybe that's another topic, but you send people off to do the right things. 
and fix it themselves. And I love how you you touched on something that I hit on all the time, which is a lot of times it's more than just like for our audience, it's more than just hormones could be the contributing factor to bone loss. There can be multiple causes and those things could be affecting each other, amplifying each other, leading to other health issues in the body. Uh, so what we don't want to do is make assumptions, right? We have to make objective decisions. And that's what Reed is talking about here, which is getting that objective information, getting that root cause, uh, identifying those root causes. And a lot of that starts with doing the proper testing. Yeah, amazing it, it, that you're using the exact word. Because see, as a, as a chiropractic uh, assistant, more or less, I was going to all the lectures, all the seminars, everything that uh, the owner, who was a chiropractor, was doing, I was doing with her. And um, in fact, she's the one that, that put me through the nutrition program. And um, what I noticed is that she always talked, um, you know, structure, causal factors, the and got the objective data. She took x-rays in every single person. And then I did the trigger, you know, counted their trigger points. You got 18 in your neck, you got 14 in your, uh, you know, upper back and and so on and so on. And your range of motion is this. And so we had all this objective criteria because that's how we tracked whether they're getting better or not, not necessarily how they felt because symptoms can go away and yet you're not done yet. You're not done yet. You need to continue. So relief care, I learned about relief care. Um, and then of course, corrective care is the, so that's where we spend our time is on the corrective care. How you feel, it's important, but that's just relief care. So um, anyone can, you could take a pill, you could do a lot of things for that, massage, heat packs, you know, um, whatever it might be, but um, getting to the underlying causal factors, which required multiple labs. So there's always this investment, that's another barrier, but it's, that's the deal. And then, um, you know, you can really assess everything a person needs to do to get so well. So what does the process look like? So, you know, we start going down this path of trying to identify root cause issues and addressing these things. Obviously, you you notice some patterns and some things that were probably needed to be repeated over and over after you've done this so many times. What did you start to see that that, um, you know, that you were able to take and turn into, you know, what you've done today? <laughs> You know, it's funny that you have this shirt that says Bone Coach on. I, I love that area. My first website ever, I made myself with some soft, you know, just trying to figure things out. It was called Bones and Hormones. And I had my own portable DEXA machine. So dual energy, x-ray, absorptometry. And I went around to, when I was, wasn't was working in the clinic, we had days off in the week. I went around, I had a route of 23 grocery stores. They were called Henry's Grocery Stores here in SoCal. And everyone knew, knew about Henry's family owned. Anyway, so they would let me come in and do my bone density testing. And, you know, I was doing it for cash. It was a paid deal to come in. I'd have lines sometimes at certain stores. And then I would give them my paper that I'd written on bone density. And it always included hormones. You know, obviously hormones, right? Estrogen, progesterone, cortisol, stress is really bad for the bones and all these things that I know you're, very familiar with. So I started testing hormones. The first test I ever ran was a hormone saliva. Take this with you. And of course, it increased my income a lot when I added that to my bone density testing service. So bones and hormones for you. But then, and so it helped a lot of people. Their bone, people would come back three or six months later because I remember I had this route and I did this for five years. So I was able to observe people you know, the same. Same ladies at the store. Then I'm here. I am to see what's going on, you know, and uh, and so many people were improving, but their overall health was improving. Their their sex lives, their muscle tone, their you know, it, and but some were saying, no, I have this, have that. So I started running other labs, and the pattern to cut to the end and answer your question, it started. It was hormones, immune system, digestion, detoxification. And that alone was very, very effective. Now, I finally learned about diet and the right diet and how to individualize a diet. And that's when energy production, which comes from food, came in. So, and then nervous system balance, uh, also from food, believe it or not, by this metabolic typing we do, <clears throat> we get your dominance, whether you're sympathetic or parasympathetic. Now, that spells hidden 
and it's hidden from people. So it's hidden is hormone, immune, digestion, detoxification, energy production, and nervous system balance. So H-I-D-D-E-N. It took a long time, thousands of people, thousands of labs before that pattern emerged. And not necessarily in that order. I just figured, I love acronyms. That makes it easy for me to remember. People ask me stuff. It's, it's one of those. And those elements, those areas of function, those functional categories, when you work on them all at the same time, it doesn't matter what your problem was. If it's any chronic downward spiraling stress-related condition, which was that original problem that I said in the beginning, you know, 23 years ago, people had those downward spiraling chronic conditions that modern medicine wasn't fixing at the time. And that pattern just seemed to emerge. When I, when you work on those things, chronic fatigue and uh, you know headache, it doesn't matter what your skin conditions and irritable bowel and you know all of these again, chronic stress-related downward spiraling things. Not gunshot wounds, not broken bones, not Ebola virus. You know that 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 you need to go see your doctor for right away. Okay, but when it when you sort of get popped out of that system and it's it's not helping or you don't want to follow those directions you know that this is where the system of HIDDN investigation is and again these things are crashing into each other so you have to understand them all um one thing you said triggered a, a comment from me and it's about um what what else is available well, standard medicine uses what I call the sounds like method and even functional medicine today, although it does look a little bit uh, more at causal factors, still uses the sounds like method and the diagnosis and treatment paradigm. They have to because their licensure requires it, much as they want to work outside of it. By the way, we have a solution for that. But <clears throat> much as they want to work, they're still bound to that system. And it's the sounds like method. So you go in and you list your complaints. They go, sounds like thyroid or sounds like irritable bowel, or sounds like a parasite, so that they can run a test to confirm their clinical diagnosis and go, and then pat themselves on the back. Yeah, I found your problem, it's your thyroid. And so here's your medicine. Let's get those numbers in shape. They start treating the paper. I have whole dissertations on this stuff, but um, that doesn't work or it works seldom. And, and it's just frustrating for a person because when you, you say, yeah, I have a little more energy, it is my thyroid. Yeah, I have a little more energy. Um, I lost a couple of pounds, you know, but I still have cold, you know, tingling extremities. I'm still constipated. My hair is still thinning. My, some of this, and, and it might be that they say, well, I've done what I do. This is what endocrinologists do. You need to go see a gastroenterologist or you need to go see a neurologist. You go, so they're, they're off the hook. And see, as a, as, a, as a holistic practitioner, you're never off the hook. You got to get to the, uh, help this person have a better life, quality, and, and it involves a lot of things, but that's the pattern, H-I-D-D-E-N. And so when, when we're going through this pattern, this hidden pattern, and we're addressing these specific areas, you know, that can eventually address those root causes and lead us to better health uh, without missing important pieces, is, have you found that there are specific things that need to be done first? in a specific order in order for other uh, issues to be resolved. Funny you say that. If those other issues are just other chronic stress-related symptoms and conditions and complaints, there's nothing else you have to do. You got to do all of that, what I just said. Um, if you start to pick and choose, how are you going to do that? You're going to use the sounds like method. Because you're concerned, you know, you want, well, you're scary. It's just, my graduates, when they first come out, it's difficult because the consumer, you know, the person they're trying to help, their client may have a limited budget. And so you want, you, you know, kind of want to go after, not spend all the money on the lab work, but um, it never works. It never works out uh, because, again, these causal factors crashing into each other. And um, it just doesn't work as well as, is what we say, which is, look, I got five labs I want you to run and a couple questionnaires. If you're willing to do that, then it's like 100% guaranteed you're going to get better because then we're able to see all the healing opportunities. 
We don't use the sounds like method. We go, look, here's the things that are going to be causal factors. Hormone to some degree, hormone immune digestion, detoxification, energy production, nervous system. Right. So if you let me look at all of those things, now I'm going to have this entire constellation of healing opportunities. No diagnosis. There's no medical diagnosis. I can explain how that works too. But there's no there's no medical diagnosis. It's like here's the several healing opportunities. Let's work on them all at one time. Let's work on everything. Because as soon as you pick one, we are leaving all the other things off the table. That's what's wrong with diagnosis and treatment model. The minute the doctor lays down that diagnosis, oh, that's your problem? Well, no, it's, that's just part of the problem. Matter of fact, that may not be the problem. That's the result of the real problem. Test results aren't what's wrong with you. It's what caused those test results to be what they are. Just like symptoms, everyone already knows symptoms aren't the problem. They're the result of the problem. They're just the manifestation, right? So um, I don't know if that answers your question. You asked me what's the first thing. I tried that for years and I kind of knew the pattern and I had clients that I would start with the hormones and uh, some of the digestive stuff really. And uh, it's I'd have to run the other tests in later visits because I needed all this data. And um, the finger would always point at the next test. There's, there is a logical order to them. But, you know, what, what I had clients saying to me was, hey, Reed, you know, I've been feeling better and better and better. And, um, you know, we've been working together for three months. So I actually feel great. And now you want me to run another test. Why didn't you just have me run them all at the first when we started? You know, and I realized it was my paradigm of um, scarcity, you know, and, and money mindset, things like that. I was just scared to tell them you got to spend a grand on lab work. Mm -hmm. You know, so I tried to get by with, well, the, the saliva test is 200 bucks. So let's let's run that and see. Oh, look, it's pointing because I know how to interpret it. The cortisol, you know, we were just like 11 hormones on one test. Now we've customized that. I have a lab doing that, a, a test for us that we I, I developed. But but anyway, so then, well, now we need to look at digestion and, and the immune system and, and so on. And so, well, why drag it out? Why take your client to this, your poor client suffering? Why wouldn't you tell them, here's the real deal. You do this. Give me this entire cluster uh, or constellation of healing opportunities, and we'll be cooking with gas. We'll get you going on a... And funny you said address because dress is the acronym for the, the solutions that we offer. And so, uh, it, you know, here's the things to do. Again, that didn't happen on day one. And, you know, that, that stuff, that pattern. And I was going to say, like, that's so important to get that testing up front, even if, you know, you're having those challenges or you think it's not going to be worth it or you're questioning it, get it done, get the objective information understand where you're at and then you can actually start seeing improvements and making progress in those areas. So a lot of times when people, I know when they have a health issue, a lot of people in, in the health world, they, they came into the health world because they started out with their own health conditions and went through that journey, that struggle. That's why I came into the health world. Um, and a lot of times after they get to the other side, they realize they want to help other people do the same thing. Right. And I know yes. um, you've got a kind of a program that helps people get to that point, too. So tell me a little bit about functional diagnostic nutrition. I think so. Um, we already said I started teaching in 2008 and um, I had a ball, you know, trying to really correlate. Really, I, I, I had a pattern for people in the office, but to teach it to others, I had to really put together, you know, a couple hundred slides just to start out with. Now it's many more, but um, I put my first class together and um, went through the labs, the H-I-D-D-E-N, I'd figured that out. I'd already been using our protocols, my protocol I developed, which is D-R-E-S-S. -S. And, and I put this two day workshop together and people loved it. They, it was like, they said, it's the best thing I've ever been to. All I was doing was explaining what, I, what I'd been doing for 10 years, almost 10 years. You know, I just, well, this is what I do, you know, like it, not like it, you know, you paid me for the, the weekend. So, so I, I get, poured my heart out 
I poured my heart out, man. And it was so popular. Then I signed up another bunch of people, another bunch of people. And finally, one of my students says, hey, man, you should put that online. And me, I'm not a technically savvy person. I made I made uh, all of that huge success with a pager and a fax machine. You know, there was no cell phones or any of that stuff. Uh, imagine what you could do today. You know, which you are doing, by the way. I'm really proud of what you're doing. But um, it's because you've you've dialed that in. But um, so I started teaching the H I D D E N investigation and the D R E S S lifestyle epigenetic program, the solution to that. And um, so now you're right. I mean, what you said was that, um, hey, people have problems. They want to get them solved. Once they do get them solved, they want to help other people that had the same problem. The issue, and that's fantastic. And a lot of people come to us for that. It, you know, I have a course called FDN or Functional Diagnostic Nutrition Certification Course, because you get certified to use the lab work. I have a, a special medical director program where anyone can run these labs. You can use them if you're a health coach or a, a personal trainer, nutritionist. And of course, uh, we have physicians taking our course because they want the new outlook and things. But um, so anyone can run these labs. And uh, I started teaching and a lot of them were already in business. But a lot of them, a lot of the uh, first students were, were people who just had a health problem says, I've tried everything else for you. Can I just take your course and work on myself? Well, of course, why, why would I turn you away? And people did, they, they, uh, a lot of our uh, graduates, I wouldn't call business people, they're not the health entrepreneurs that we know and love and that, that I'm really there for, you know, that's what I, my mission is to have my work duplicated, go out and do this work. A lot of people sign up just for their own health, and it was worth the price of admission. I mean, that alone, that alone, because you're in, in the course, you run all the labs on yourself, and you get personal consultation, and you work on yourself. And then when you graduate, if you weren't already in business, now you have the opportunity to go into business as a health entrepreneur. And it's just an exploding uh, field. I mean, do you think you're ever going to run out of sick people? Never. <laughs> Right, you're yeah. never going to run out of people who need hit. Never, uh, it's there's an endless supply of, of customers just kind of waiting for you. Because number one, the world's getting sicker, not better, and number two, the other the other alternatives aren't working for them. And this works. The, the success, you know, all my graduates know. Hey, if you just follow the steps, the principles of health, the principles of health building will outperform specific treatment on, on you know, the diagnosis and treatment model. Again, unless you got a gunshot wound or broken bone or, or something really devastating that's truly medical. By the way, we work hand in hand with them in these situations. Um, yeah, then we can help people. And so if you just have your own health problem and want to work on that, uh, we have a place for you. If you want to get all your skills and talents and tools upgraded, we have a place for you. And can you tell me, like, what are some of the specifics about this? So let's say somebody embarks on this journey. How long is it? Uh, what's included? Uh, what does it entail from a timing perspective? All those kinds of sure. things. Well, functional diagnostic nutrition is the name of it. I, I, I Sometimes I have to explain that because you say, well, Reed, you don't diagnose medically. So what, what, why is word diagnostics in there? Well, it's... it's it's functional because it's all about function. That's what we care about. That's what we want to get you functioning right. The way you're designed, which is perfect, by the way. We believe in the innate intelligence. Put it together pretty well. And, and so functional, it's all about function. Now, the, the diagnostic is, it's diagnostic in nature. You know, when my, I take my car, I took my motorcycle in once. The guy said, because uh, it wouldn't it stop running. And he says, sir, we've diagnosed the problem. So that word is not exclusive to the medical uh, industry. And my computer guy, same thing. I'll run some diagnostics on it. I'll do that. So it's diagnostic in nature, meaning we get the data. And we get it directly from the lab, which means we get it before the doctor gets it. See, before the diagnosis. People think that, well, you can't look at labs because diagnosis. Not, no, that's once the doctor's got it and kind of narrowed it down and something in his niche or category or 
her area or whatever she does. No, we get the data before the doctor gets it, the raw data. And it's really exciting to work at that level. So the functional, function diagnostic, and then nutrition, because I was a nutritionist, but really it's about nurturing. It's about using all the epigenetic factors, diet and rest and exercise and stress reduction and supplement to, to create a nurturing, functional diagnostic, nutrition, nurturing system. So um, so that's the, that's the plan. That's the name of the company, functional diagnostic nutrition.com if you want. Um, and, and, uh, uh, that's to we're recruiting, we're actively recruiting. We had 123 new registrations in June. And so there's a lot of people who want to get into this field and you know what, there's room for millions more. Cause again, if you just work on your own health, it's worth the price of admission. And if you then get to make a, a, an enjoyable business out of it, where you, you have your own health, you have um, a lot of emotional freedom, I call it, because you know you're doing good work. You, you have a purpose in your life. You can't be happy without a purpose in life, in, in my opinion. I know you feel the same way, because yeah. I've heard you talk, which I love, by the way. Um, so, you, And then you've got the freedom to work from anywhere in the world. Like I can go to Cabo sometimes for up to three months and work off my laptop. No one knows, except the background changes. If I took the screen with me, everyone would just think I'm right there at home, you know? But anyway, when, when COVID happened, all of us already worked from home. No one could send us home, that's where we were. You know, and then with everyone else going home, all of our businesses kind of exploded. So you, you have this, you know, again, there's the, the health freedom, which is incredible. The the geographical freedom, being able to work from everywhere. The emotional freedom, knowing you're really helping people, especially when no one else could. It feels amazing. Then there's the time freedom. So I work my own hours. I used to get up at four. I worked about twelve or one. Then I go ride my motorcycle. I work in my garden, and it's it's you, you kind of you know dictating to yourself. And then financially, you can do very very well if you use good financial principles and know how to handle money, which we teach as an add-on to the to the basic course, by the way, the business part, you can have a very, uh, what I say is just, the, just be in control of your own life. So the FDN course, certification course, is a lot more than just how to run some labs and what the protocols are. It, that's all in there. The anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, it, 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 that's all in there. And I teach it in a fun way. People, people kind of like that I'm pretty darn casual about it, you know, um, and that it's from experience. I didn't go to some webinars or, or seminars and learn this stuff. I learned it in the office, face to face with Mrs. Smith and Mr. Jones, case after case, uh, some miracle after miracle, some not so uh, successful, but <clears throat> I did all that. So you don't have to. Our course only takes about eight months to get through. And that's if you work. You know, we've had people do it in less. Um, again, it's kind of fun. You run all the labs in yourself. So in, in six, eight, 10 months, uh, you can do it. And it's at, taught at a level where there's some big words, but I explain them really well. And um, what, the, what the shorter words are, the easier way to say this. And it comes from having spent 10 years as a patient educator in a clinic. So it's, it, again, it's not just something I learned from some fancy pants doctor, it's stuff I ground out, you know. I love fancy pants doctors, if there's any out there, you know, uh, we we get along well, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I get what you're saying. And Reed, I mean, I, I absolutely love what you're doing. I, I really do. I mean, you've got 4,000 graduates in 50 countries. That is absolutely amazing. Like the impact that not only you've had in the health space and in the health world, but then the impact that those graduates have then gone on to have is pretty amazing too. So what I wanna make sure I do for our audience is if they're interested in this or they want to learn how to get a certification or go through your program or your course, I'm gonna make sure I link to those resources in the show notes. Um, so we'll make sure we put that there and then read anything else that you think is important to share about where people can find, uh, find these resources and the help they need. Well, you know, I said well, our website, main website is functionaldiagnosticnutrition.com. Couldn't think of a longer name. But, um, you know, the uh, FDN training would get you there. Um, and and uh, 
we we love new folks. They're, it's a very friendly. We're so easy to do business with. Uh, you just if to go through a discovery call, if you will, with with one of my course registrars. Uh, they're very knowledgeable. They're all graduates of the program. They all love the program. They're going to tell you uh, it is. But they'll answer your questions honestly. There's things it doesn't offer, but um, you can find that out and see if it's right for you. And um, just go to that website and you can put it in your show notes. And, um, you know, um, we have the chat box, you know, kind of modern, fancy stuff like chat box. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, they'll reach out to you and, and explain and everything like that. And then, of course, you can you don't have to sign it right away. You could you could hang out and um, you know what a nurture cycle is. You know, we can we'll send you some content. For, and, and, you know, there's two types of people I say, if you're in this space, there's FDNs and there's people who aren't FDNs yet. <laughs> you know, we're the place to go, especially if you already have some training. Most of our graduates have college or college degree, some college or college degree and a certificate or two already. They're already a personal trainer, you know, the nutrition, a lot of nutritionists of various ilks and sorts and and things like that and then you, you're out there in the world and you're working uh even nurses nurse practitioners and lots of people like that that are probably some the, physical therapists uh, probably some physical who are, therapists are very yeah. who are, <clears throat> exactly and they're very frustrated with the system they're in they're not doing enough good in the world their emotional uh connection to their work isn't where it needs to be mm -hmm. and so um just talk to us just talk to us well, Reed, I want to thank you again so much for your time. This has been awesome having a great chat with you. And then for everyone listening and watching right now, you can find all the resources, show notes, everything mentioned today over at bonecoach.com forward slash functional diagnostic nutrition, Reed Davis. Reed, thanks again. And everybody for listening, we'll see you in the next episode. Hey, it's Bone Coach Kevin Ellis. Hope you found that episode helpful and that you enjoyed it. Just one last reminder, if you haven't done so already, Head over to bonecoach.com, sign up for your free seven day osteoporosis kickstart. It's going to tell you everything you need to do to start getting on the path to improvement. Hope you found this helpful. I'm your bone coach, Kevin Ellis. I'll see you soon.